Welcome back to the show. Friends at home, John had to step away for a moment. You know, I think he's got to feed the collie. I heard it barking earlier, so I think it was hungry, because they bark when they're hungry. Or when Timmy falls down the well. Anyways, we're going to read some letters because they're fun to read, and you guys send them to us, and it'd be wrong if we did not, right? Right? Right. Right. How are you, Miss Tangella? And your octopi? No, she loves these things. They're like fluffy. She never holds real ones that are like slimy. I like the slimy ones. They're delicious. All right, this first letter does not say where it's from, but it's got a photo of an automobile. It's a nice automobile. Silver Cloud. A Rolls Royce Silver Cloud, I would say. These are nice cars. Oh, you know, I used to have one, but I got rid of it because there was not enough room for five friends. All right, uh, let's see. He goes, this is James Rucker from Maple Heights, Ohio. I love watching your show on YouTube and the movies that you play. I like Mr. Livingston, and I love Tangella, the perfect woman because she don't talk. Uh, if I may correct you, she speaks quite a bit. She just doesn't speak to you. Keep up the great work and the great movies and great guests you have on your show. Thank you again. Great job, uh, James Rucker. Well, thanks for writing, James. I hope everything's nice in Maple Heights, Ohio. Yeah, that sounds like a wonderful place. All right, what do you got for me next, sir? An actual letter. An actual letter. This is from, oh, you read this one already. B. Weissenberg, I believe. We'll find out on the inside. Oh, he's, he's got very nice handwriting. It's typed, I believe. That's the type of handwriting I like. All right, uh, Bruce Weissenberger, a faithful viewer and fan from Antioch, California. I like Antioch, you know why? because at the end of the word has C-H instead of a K. It's a nice way to spe uh, spell Ock. Oh. All right. Dear Vince, Tangella, and Livingston, I look forward to your show each week. In addition to your collection of rarely seen horror movies, you jest, I'm sure, you have the most outstanding, interesting, and diverse selection of guests. That we do, right? On those rare occasions when the movie is a bit less than entertaining, I still stay with you to watch your guest interviews, hear you read your mail, and watch the three of you interact. I recently attended the East Bay Comic Con specifically to take an opportunity to meet the Creature Features family. That was a fun event. It was. We were there, East Bay Comic Con. I'd never attended such an event and did not know exactly what to expect. I suppose I expected to be shuffled along as if on a conveyor belt, given only seconds to realize my quest to meet the three of you in person. I was pleasantly surprised to find quite the opposite. You were all so gracious with your time and made me feel at ease. I was truly a distinct pleasure to finally meet you all in person. Well, I heard you always in the loo. You spent half the convention in the loo. Perhaps. He does that to hide. He does not have any bowel issues. He just needs to get away from the crowd now and then. Miss Tangella, the lovely entrances, was on her best behavior, exhibiting her myriad fine honed skills of communication by expression that so endear her to the fans of Creature Features. The ever present Livingston was stoic, yet quite welcoming. Clearly, he is a consummate gentleman's gentleman, but he also has an appeal all his own. He may deny it, but I know he has a very kind heart as well. Vince, you were very genial and humorous as always, but your casual and friendly approach made we who sought you out feel as though we were meeting a long time good friends. It was a wonderful time and I will always remember fondly. Most importantly, you have all succeeded in the enormous task of taking the reins of the beloved institution that is Creature Features and bringing honor to yourselves that institution and the standards set by all those that come before you in the coveted role as host of creature features i wish you all the best and a long and successful future with the show yours respectfully and finally bruce weisenberg well thank you bruce that was a very long-winded and wonderful letter and you know i'll read the long-winded wonderful ones because they're they're wonderful all right so uh what do we got next mr livingston more mail i presume yes all right Trade you. Tinchella, I think you have to stop feeding that thing. All right, this, uh, another long one. Is this long letter night? It appears to be. None of these have Rolls Royces on them, but that's all right. All right, here we go. This is from Norman Ramsbottom in New Berlin, Wisconsin. 
We've never heard from this place before. This never. Is gonna, this is a new thing. <clears throat> Dear Crowhaven Productions, this is not for me. Oh, it's one of those. All right, I request that you cease and desist from producing the program Creature Features. Your host claims it's a family show, but it's nothing of the kind. As John 3, 8 states, the one who does what is sinful is the devil. Your host and the company he keeps has a background in rock music, better known as the Symphony of Sin, and now represents horror movies to a television audience. The Symphony of Sin, that would be a great name for a song. Or, or a, a band. Or a band. Thank you. I've get, I'm getting something out of this letter. All right. This is in no way what encompasses family entertainment. I'm sure your company can do better than this. But if not, I shall be writing a strongly worded letter to my congressman on this matter. I hope you'll take the high road and cancel this show. I'm sure all of the families affected by this despicable show will forgive you your blasphemy in creating it because as told in Matthew 6.11... For if you forgive others their trespass, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Well, um, Norman Ramsbottom, uh, you know, I don't know what to, how to respond to this letter, but I, I can tell you it was Matthew 6.12 and not 6.11, and uh, it was about forgiveness being a two-way street. So I forgive you for writing that letter. All right, is that it? That's it. Last note. All right, if you want to send us a letter... By email, send it to the address you see down here. Or if you'd like to send something in the regular post, send it to the address you see here. We'll be right back with John Provost. But first, let's get back to the Screaming Skull. Hello, this is David Danoff. I'm from Santa Rosa, California. I'm watching the show right now. And I love it. I love Antangelica, is that her name? And uh, Livingston. And I, I think you, I see your show is great, and I enjoy watching it. Bye bye.